Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make transparent overlays that get triggered uh, when you mouse over and mouse out on uh, the pictures. In fact, uh, let me show you a published preview before I start explaining the project to you. Guys, have a look out here. Uh, we have two pictures on the screen which are placed into separate divs respectively. And uh, the moment I hover over the first picture, the div not only does it appear in uh, the next one second it actually blinds down too and if I were to go on the second picture a similar thing happens okay so this was done in Dreamweaver the blinding and the you know making it appear I use Dreamweaver behaviors so not only is that uh, strip transparent it appears slowly it blinds down and blinds up and it's a toggle guys so uh, done using our uh, Dreamweaver behaviors so guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replicate the same effect in a separate file in a different file altogether a fresh file so get a much better idea how this was this was actually achieved okay right so let me see a file in a new uh, right layout none create okay let me get in a div first so insert layer objects div tag at insertion point uh, wrapper is the class that I would want let me say new CSS rule let me say okay straight away go to the positioning category define the width to be a 600 by 375 now that's equaling the picture that we're gonna use guys and the position I'm gonna set at relative relative I'm sorry uh, I'll tell you why I actually did that for the moment it's relative 600 by 375 okay let me go to the border category let me have a, a solid medium border a gray border all around okay let me say okay once again so in the empty div that you see right now I'm gonna place in a picture so that's an insert uh, an image uh, let me get in uh, the coffee picture let me skip the alternate text just for now all right and uh, there you go okay <coughs> in fact uh, now guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the file up so let me say save let me say let me call it uh, overlay okay let me say save and then guys let me go to the code area notice out here guys in I'm in the classic workspace my favorite workspace okay and out here in the div I'm gonna place another div so I'm, I'm going to nest a div guys and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say insert layer objects div tag class this time will be overlay okay let me click on the new CSS rule button let me say okay let me go to the positioning category let me define the width uh, 600 but 50 pixels this time and the positioning last time if you remember was relative this time I should keep it at absolute and top at zero I'll tell you why I'm actually doing all that see an absolute position div becomes relative you know becomes is actually uh, you, you can place it at zero only if the container of the parent div is either relative or fixed or absolute okay by definition uh, the placements top right bottom and left are relative to the parent div as long as the parent div is either relative either fixed or absolute that was the reason why I actually changed the earlier div from a static to a relative whether you mention something or not guys all divs are by default static so change it to a relative now this placement zero makes a lot of sense because now the absolute position div will be placed in the top left corner okay let me go to the background uh, uh, category let me go with the background color which is uh, <coughs> in fact let me uh, let me say uh, RGB let's say RG RGB I'm gonna use the RGB color model 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma let's say 0 0.5 
alpha as 0.5 and then I'm gonna change this color to let's say this color so ultimately I've settled for 204 comma 204 comma 204 comma 0.5 okay right and also let me go to the border category let me have a bottom white border so that's a solid thin white border I'll tell you very soon what's going on let me say okay let me say okay once again let me take a preview in Google Chrome to show you what exactly has happened save changes to the file overlay which is fine and guys have a look out here we have this uh, transparent overlay because of the RGBA color model A for alpha and um, we have this nice thin border to serve as the demarcation <coughs> going back to Dreamweaver guys okay let me go to the rule which is overlay let me change the font size to a 20 the line height the same as the height of the div to a 50 okay and let me go to the block category and this time let me set the text align to a center let me say okay and uh, let me take a preview in Google Chrome to see the changes all very cool guys very nice except uh, that I would want the font to be bold as well all right so guys uh, now I'm gonna terminate this tutorial only to so we see you in the next part only to see you in the next part where I'll ex explain the appear behavior the blind down behavior okay uh, so, so don't don't lose me and uh, catch me very soon see you bye bye howdy chums uh, <coughs> welcome to part two this is Mohit once again and uh, so let me continue from where I left off uh, let me first show you our preview in Google Chrome so if you remember guys in the last part I actually made uh, a picture uh, which is contained inside a div and uh, then we have this absolutely positioned uh, div tucked in, in the the left top corner which is actually transparent so that's a transparent overlay and uh, you have a nice text or the caption uh, above it so that was that was all that we did in the the uh, last tutorial so we created a relative div inside which we created the absolute position div tucked in the left top corner let's move on and let's see how we can actually uh, create the blind and the uh, the fade in effect you know and apply to the overlays the transparent overlays let's see how we can actually do that okay let me go back to Dreamweaver and this time guys uh, let me be in the code view let me collapse everything above the body tag to make uh, things easier for us to work upon okay and then uh, I'm gonna make one one more change I'm gonna go back to the wrapper I'm gonna double click and uh, I'm gonna go to the box category I'm gonna make sure that the float has been set to left and let me also apply left and right margins of 33 uh, pixels each that's left and right margins of 33 pixels each all right <coughs> cool right next guys uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna apply the behaviors now now make sure guys that the cursor is blinking in the body area okay make sure before you actually start applying behaviors okay and then I'll be going to the tag inspector behaviors click on the plus button go to effects go to appear fade okay in fact just before that I need to make one more change I need to give the overlay a div an ID as well so that ID is equal to OL OL for overlay right then let me go to the tag inspector behaviors plus say effects go to appear fade current selection the target element that I want to be affected is the OL or the AP div or the absolutely positioned div I would want it to disappear within one millisecond that's fraction of a second guys from a zero percent to a, a zero percent basically I would want it to fade away in a snap let me say okay and instead of saying on click in fact I'll have to say edit undo behavior I'll tell you why I had to apply this behavior inside the body 
and for which I needed to make sure that the cursor should be blinking in the body area but instead it got applied to the other dev which is the overlay dev I didn't want that so I'll uh, you know go all over again so make this make sure that the cursor is blinking in the body area plus go to effects go to appear fade I'm redoing it again uh, target element OL in one second should fade from a 0% to a 0% basically uh, go away in a snap let me say okay and uh, change the on click to on load so when the body of the web page loads on load yep let me show it to you in the browser Google Chrome so you can notice guys the moment the web page appears the overlay uh, or the AP position div which was in the left top corner has actually gone away in a snap okay let me go back to dream beaver so this time the JavaScript has been saved or uh, it has uh, been put up in the right area which is body on load which is fine okay next guys make sure that the cursor is blinking in the class equal to wrapper area okay in uh, div class equal to wrapper area that's important uh, click on the plus button say effects say appear fade select the current selection to be a ol and you would want it to appear in one second from a zero percent to a hundred percent which is fine let me say okay but change the on click to on mouse over on mouse over <coughs> right let me show a preview in google chrome so up front uh, the AP div is not there the moment I mouse over guys you can actually see it appear back which is fine okay let me go back to dream beaver I'm gonna attach one more behavior I'm gonna say effects appear fade and uh, and uh, this time I'm gonna say no in fact effects blind this time I would want it to blind down from a 0% to 100% affect the target element OL div the ID of which is OL in one second okay let me say okay and again this time it should be on a mouse over mouse over right let me show it to you in the browser okay so the moment I mouse over guys you can actually see the uh, div blinding down and appearing as well fading in nicely cool very cool let me go back this time I'm gonna click on the plus button click on the effects go to appear fade this time affect the same element OL and instead of appear I'm gonna say fade fade out from 100% to a 0% which is fine let me say okay but on a mouse out on a mouse out right let me show it to you in Google Chrome so that's appearing and blinding down and that's disappearing okay let me go back attach one more uh, effect uh, this time that will be blind so that's a blind up from 100% to a 0% which is fine let me say okay or a mouse out right uh, there you go very very nice so not only does it uh, blind down it appears as well wonderful okay now guys uh, have a look out here uh, I'm gonna do something you need to pay a lot of attention to what I'm gonna do now I will copy everything that is inside the body area like so okay I'm gonna hit enter twice create some space and paste it okay and uh, let me show it to you how it actually looks now let me show it to you in Google Chrome so instead of one picture guys we have two pictures instead of using one picture we have two pictures All right let me go back and let me start making changes to the code in fact guys you can have multiple class instance of the same class but you cannot uh, do the same with the ID and that is why we need to make certain changes to the code the first thing wherever you see OL you're gonna replace it with OL1 OL1 out here as well and OL1 
you cannot have a duplicate ID no oil one out here as well okay we also need to replace uh, the picture from a coffee to a drink that's another picture lying in my local sign folder guys and ol to a ol1 out here also guys just copy this bit put a semicolon create a space paste it and change the ol to a ol1 basically guys what i'm doing is i'm creating two devs keeping them left right okay applying the same effect but I had to change the ID from a OL to a OL1 because I cannot have duplicate IDs and that's all that I've done okay so I hope everything works just the way I want it fingers crossed save the changes wonderful so I'm gonna mouse over these pictures one by one so amazing and lovely very very cool as cool as this drink guys so guys i hope you like this tutorial this uh, tutorial about transparent see-through overlays that blind down on a mouse over disappear fade out on a mouse out they blind up as well so a lot of effects out here there's so much to learn from this tutorial i hope so guys i hope so you you would implement it too come up trumps and uh, let me know how it actually went guys and how you found my tutorial i'll see you very soon with yet another dreamweaver or flash tutorial your good day guys bye bye peace